Last night on this program, we showed you a video of a former Obama official, Evelyn Farkas, from earlier this month, saying that she urged her former colleagues and people on the Hill to get as much information and intelligence as they could on the Trump team before President Obama left office. Now, on March 2nd, during an NBC interview, Dr. Farkas, who served in the Obama administration from 2012 through 2015 as Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for Russia, Ukraine, Eurasia, Listen to these comments very, very closely. Listen. I was urging my former colleagues and, and frankly speaking, the people on the Hill. Mm -hmm. I w it was more actually aimed, aimed at telling the Hill people, get as much information as you can, get as much intelligence as you can before President Obama leaves the administration, because I had a fear that somehow that information would disappear with the senior people who left. So it would be hidden away in the bureaucracy um, that the Trump folks, if they found out how we knew what we knew about their, the staff, the Trump staff dealing with Russians, that they would try to compromise those sources and methods, meaning we would no longer have access to that intelligence. So I became very worried because mm. not enough was coming out into the open, and I knew that there was more. We have very good intelligence on Russia. So then I had talked to some of my former colleagues, and I knew that they were trying to also help get information to the Hill. How we knew what we knew about their, the Trump staffs, dealing with Russia. All right, let's deal with what Evelyn Farkas is saying here. First, she's admitting what we've been saying, what Sarah Carter, John Solomon, James Rosen have all been saying. Surveillance took place. Take a watch. It was more actually aimed, aimed at telling the Hill people, get as much information as you can, get as much intelligence as you can before President Obama leaves the administration, because I had a fear that somehow that information would disappear with the senior people. Oh, that's the intelligence she wants her friends on Capitol Hill to get. Is that the information she's talking about? Now, next, she admits there was unmasking. That shouldn't happen. Watch. Um, that the Trump folks, if they found out how we knew what we knew about their, the staff, the Trump staff dealing with Russians, that they would try to compromise those sources and methods, meaning we would no longer have access to that intelligence. Ah, intelligence, unmasking, surveillance. Now, she also admitted that intelligence leaking was taking place. And by the way, in case some of you people don't know, that could very well be a felony. Take a look. I became very worried because mm. not enough was coming out into the open, and I knew that there was more. We have very good intelligence on Russia. So then I had talked to some of my former colleagues, and I knew that they were trying to also help get information to the Hill. How did you know there was intelligence? You were out of the administration. How did Evelyn Farkas, a former Obama administration official, a private citizen working for the Hillary Clinton campaign, know about the surveillance and intelligence? Well, during an interview on CNBC earlier today, Farkas, well, she seemed to be walking back and changing her tune. Watch her contradict her own self. Straight ahead. People are accusing you, Evelyn, of uh, admitting that there was surveillance, admitting that there was unmasking, and urging people, or, or at least saying that intelligence leaking, which could be a felony, is, is the way that it, it should get out. And you weren't even no. part of the government at, at that point. No. So I was referring to the motivation, because there had been a lot of discussion in the media about why are people leaking. And, and so I was trying to, but in a very shorthand fashion, explain at the very end of that quote that people were leaking because they were afraid of a cover-up. I do not, absolutely do not condone leaking. You know, uh, it's against the law. Wait a minute. She said earlier, get as much intelligence as you can. Get it up to the hill, to our friends. So now opposing leaking, even though earlier this month, she was obviously claiming to encourage it. Now, Farkas also played dumb on what information she was referring to. Watch this walk back. This is interesting. Sean Hannity and others have made a big issue of this. I wanted you to just explain what you meant by that, and in particular, when you talked about if they found out how we knew. What do you mean by how, they, how we knew? Well, what I was getting at was the fact that we were having now a transition of power from the Obama administration to the Trump administration. And if indeed there was an investigation ongoing, if indeed there was information that the Obama administration had about Russian interference and possible <laughs> American involvement, I wanted to make sure that Congress knew about it. Were there specific pieces of information that no. you were concerned would disappear? No. 
No, I did not know what the information was or what or I suspected that they had information. Again, knowing what I know about our intelligence community, they're very professional. They have a very good eye on Russia. If indeed, now she says, if it's suspected, but wait a minute, this is the same woman that said if, meaning the Trump folks, found out how we knew what we knew, not if it happened, if they knew what we knew about their, the Trump staff, dealing with Russians. Now, try as she might, Dr. Farkas cannot walk back her original comments. And today, we have also uncovered an interview that Dr. Farkas did back in February with Vox before that appearance on NBC. She was asked by Ezra Klein what her, quote, level of alarm was after Flynn's resignation. Here's Farkas' response, quote, well, it's lower than it's been since the summer when I was first made aware of all this stuff. I'm like, finally, everybody else sees it. Seriously? The reason I was so upset last summer was that I was getting winks and hints from inside that there was something really wrong here. I was agitated because I knew the Clinton campaign and the world didn't know. But I didn't think it would happen this fast. I didn't think Flynn would survive a year, but I thought it would be most of the year. Well, hmm, did she know about Flynn, the intelligence that eventually got leaked that took him out? What is she talking about here? Anyway, who was giving her the winks and the hints over the summer? I'm just asking questions based on her own words. Here's where it gets interesting. Today, during another interview on MSNBC, Farkas said she's now the victim of fake news because we play her entire comment in context. I'm not kidding. Watch this. And on the dark campaign of fake news, you know, that's still ongoing. Um, we see even someone like myself get sweeped up in all of this. Right. Uh, you know, when, when people like me are speaking on behalf of process, people spin it uh, to suit their needs. And I think it, it may be that the Russians are behind even such fake news today. Right. Maybe the Russians put these words in my mouth asking about surveillance, unmasking, and leaking intelligence. I'm simply asking questions based on what she said, as other members of the mainstream media, by the way, continue to ignore the facts in this case. The media doesn't want to focus on this today. Oh, no, they want to focus on the New York Times headline that came out late this afternoon. Two White House officials help give Nunes intelligence reports. Now, the headline is deceptive, obscure, and I would argue purposely dishonest. If you read further into the report, it isn't really a story. It just says uh, the official, quote, played a role. Now, tonight I'm calling on the intel community, stop being distracted by the hate Trump media, destroy Trump media. The attorney general, General Sessions, needs to convene a grand jury. And the only thing we know for sure is that the intel was leaked about retired Lieutenant General Michael Flynn. That is a felony. That is a crime. And as for Dr. Farkas, well, we need to know what she knew about the unmasking, about the surveillance, and when she knew it, and who she was communicating with, and who was giving her the information. And what did she know also about leaking or getting the information to her friends on the Hill? Here with